everybody, I'm Lisa Fay, and today I'm going to show you an easy and inexpensive way that you can take a dollar store or one dollar craft store cheapo frame for pictures and cover it with fabric and make it into something a little bit more personalized for your decor or as a gift. Now, I picked up these slimmer frames here, the more narrow frames at the Dollar Tree. They were a dollar each, of course, and I covered these with some fabric, really easy. I also got three frames from Michaels, covered these with fabric as well, um, and I did make an error with this one, which we will discuss in the video, um, <laughs> which is really a shame because it turned out very cute. So you can use whatever fabric you like, but keep in mind that if you have a frame that's a very narrow width right along here, that it's better to go with a smaller print, I guess. That way it actually shows up a little bit better. And if you have a fabric that's like this, uh, with stripes or, I don't know, checkers, anything else that's kind of, uh, I don't know, that more lined up of a pattern, you want to try to match up the, um, the grain, I guess, a little bit more when you're doing the DIY. You can use any frame. If you have old picture frames that are lying around, you can, by all means, just take one of those and cover it in fabric too. Of course, the final detail for this project, which I left out of this DIY, because I just didn't have time, um, is to actually print out pictures at the drugstore or through Shutterfly or wherever you prefer to print out pictures. And when you're gifting this to somebody, put a meaningful picture of the two of you in it. Um, I think that that is a nice personalized touch. This video is part of my Christmas DIY inexpensive easy craft tutorial series here on YouTube. And I also have other ideas for other things that you can cover with fabric. So please check out my other videos for more great ideas. You'll find affiliate links to the different items you'll need in the description box for this video. I'll be donating a portion of any proceeds from affiliate link sales to National Food Bank Feeding America, as well as my local food bank, Second Harvest of Silicon Valley. You want to start by removing all the inserts from the frame, remove everything from it, and then really position your fabric and cut it to the approximate size. I then took a fan brush and spread Mod Podge all over the front of the frame. I find that the fan brush really worked well for me as far as getting a nice, thin, even layer of Mod Podge applied to the frame. Then I just roughly cut out the center of the fabric and tried to trim along the edges as best as I could um, in order to reduce the amount of fabric that is in the way. If you're using a directional fabric like this pineapple print fabric, which is so cute, you need to be aware that when you place it on the frame, you need to pay attention to what way is up. Um, when I put this pineapple fabric on the frame, I completely forgot about the little hole for the stick um, to stand it up when it's all finished. So it looks really cute. However, right now the um, the frame is upside down technically, um, so I need to drill another hole or figure out some sort of fix. I might just put a, um, a hanging bracket on the back of it. When you're wrapping the fabric around to the back side of the frame, you want to make sure that you trim off any excess fabric and anything that might be in the way. So I just adhered with a lot of Mod Podge. I used extra Mod Podge for this area. That way I made sure everything stuck really nicely. And then I just used my smallest brush that I had and I really pushed things in there in the crevices and made sure everything was lying as flat as possible.
the thinner width frame, I would definitely suggest using a smaller patterned fabric for this type of a frame. If you go with a fabric that has a larger print, it's not really going to show up as well. There's not all that much space um, that you're adhering the fabric to. But this leopard print fabric worked really nicely. I just followed the same procedure as I did for the other frame. Made sure to cut out the center and made sure to adhere the sides. It worked really well and I'm very happy with the results. the jelly bellies and the beverage to the side are optional for this project but I do find that it helps to have some sort of refreshment as you're working. narrow frames I did find that it's really important to trim the fabric as close as you can when you get to the back where everything wraps around because you don't want to have a lot of bulk and excess fabric um, at the back that'll make it look a little bit messy and I think things are just they look a little bit cleaner and they lay flatter if you really trim it close when you get to the back of course, you still want to make sure that you have enough fabric to actually wrap around to the final side. So I don't know, for me personally, I found that about a quarter of an inch was enough in order to really adhere it properly. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!